I worked uh, in the anti-apartheid movement for years, starting in college, and I remember when apartheid crumbled and that all South Africans would be able to vote and determine how their country is run. My husband's mother was slowly kind of undergoing this philosophical evolution, and um, she was just transported by Obama during, during the last campaign. We went into South Africa through towns, cities, and villages, the way people came through the South when we got the Voting Rights Act here, doing voter education. She was, she was sick, she was dying, she had cancer, but it was very important to her that she vote. And she really wanted, it was good, this was gonna be her first vote for a Democratic presidential candidate. We were able to take those lessons from the civil rights movement and people like Fannie Lou Hamer and everybody, the, the Mississippi Democratic Freedom Party, and take those to South Africa. 10 days before the official election, there was early voting in Maryland, and we, we drove her down to the, the polling place. And, um, you know, she couldn't walk very quickly, but she had a cane and everybody that she saw, you know, she was telling people, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna vote for Obama. People there, when they got the chance to vote, oh my God, millions of people just standing in line, standing in line for days because there would be glitches and people would stand there to vote. It was important to her that she make this choice. You know, my husband, is, he's Caucasian, his family's white. So for her, there was even a bigger statement, which is embracing a black candidate for the first time and someone who looked like her daughter-in-law, someone that she'd grown to really love. And it was just one of the best days of our lives as a family. How can you stay home because it's raining? Because they only give you enough time in the morning or after work. There's nothing more important than voting. 